Hey there geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at Windows 11 Upgrade, a open source utility from a developer over on GitHub. It is supposed to do everything for you, including bypassing Windows 11 upgrade requirements that your computer does not meet. So what you want to do is click on download now and check the video description or the little eye up here as always for a link to come here and you're going to click download now and within a couple of seconds you'll have it on your computer i saved it to my desktop so you'll open the zip and you will extract extract all and put it anywhere you want but let's put it somewhere where you know where you can find it because it's going to download the iso if you don't have it already it also has settings files built in and you want to keep those in place for now here's the folder extracted and what you're going to do is you're going to click on Windows 11 Upgrade. I played with it once before. As you can see, I have the ISO here already. So you'll click Windows 11 Upgrade. Click Yes. And choose one of the options below. If you click on Download the Windows 11 ISO file, there is no user intervention required. It will just start downloading it, show your percentage bar figure, roughly a half an hour ballpark for it to download a 5 gigabyte file. Maybe faster, maybe longer. But we already have the file, so you'll end up at this window regardless select the file so we know we have it as mentioned we saved it in desktop easy for me to find there is Windows 11 ISO and now this is the window you'll come to if you download the ISO manually this window will pop up when it's done downloading the ISO so here's your options upgrade that's your best bet if you're running Windows 10 you can save your apps and data data only as you can see performs an upgrade a window saving only the data and not your apps i recommend you use the upgrade so that your programs and everything that's on your computer that you want is still there a clean install as you may imagine is going to wipe everything out when you get done it'll be a fresh clean install of windows 11 and nothing else so once you make your decision just click install system and from here depending on what you choose you're going to have to follow through step by step here it comes so if you've ever upgraded windows before you probably recognize this especially windows 10 and it checks for updates you're just going to do next 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 and when you're done you reboot and windows 11 will be installed there you go after a restart everything will be good now supposedly this is going to bypass everything and it's kind of interesting i'm recording is always in a virtual machine so the interesting thing about the virtual machine is the drivers aren't there um, pretty much everything so when Windows looks at this computer it doesn't think I have TPM it doesn't think I have secure boot doesn't think you have anything it just doesn't show up in virtual machine so in a perfect world this should install so we'll hit a pause for a second here and you know windows it went uh, to 46 percent and then miraculously 46 to 100 so here we are right here as you can see it's installing windows 11 again the interesting thing about this program is that although i'm actually running windows 11 clean in my virtual machine it tells me i can't upgrade because as mentioned i don't have the hardware that it doesn't see it as you can see it's installing it so there you have it let's get cancel get out of this for a minute Let's see if we can get something else going here. No, it locked me down. There we go. So, again, it's not a matter of what to do, but there's a lot of confusion confusion out there. And that is that there are registry hacks. I've written one. There are numerous programs that bypass this, bypass that, tricks, programs. But in my opinion, this is one of the best ones I've seen because you just start it. If you don't have the ISO it gets it for you it bypasses everything and it's going to install it for you I mean you can't beat it so if you're looking to upgrade Windows 11 you have even if you don't have a problem pretty neat way to do it right here so one little free open source app that's portable when you get done you can delete the folders that you created that's what portable files are all about and there you have it so in a perfect world that works for you let me know how it worked for you Bottom right corner, subscribe, like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate you. See ya.